We have introduced important concepts that we will be using in gas mixtures, mostly the notion of a mass fraction and also a mole fraction. And thanks to this, we managed, for example, to get the molecular weight of our mixture. Now, what we will have to do, we'll have to try to understand from a fundamental point of view how a mixture of gases will behave, okay? And for this, we'll be analyzing what we call PVT, pressure, volume, temperature models. And more specifically, we'll be discussing two different approaches. The first one is called Amagat's model, and the second one is called Dalton's model. So let's start with Amagat's model. Amagat's model is due to the French physicist, Emile Amaga. And the idea in Amagat's model is that if you have, let's say here we will uh, have two different gases. So let's call this one A and let's call this one B. And there is a mixture of A and B. In Amagat's model, what we consider, we consider that both gases, A and B, are at the same temperature and are also the same pressure. However, they occupy different volumes. So in Amagat's model, what do we have? We have the temperature and pressure are the same, but the volume occupied is different. What does it mean? This means that VA will be different than VB. This is what you see here. Okay, so basically this is kind of an extreme case where you can consider this kind of a horrible segregation between gas A and gas B. Okay. Uh, here, actually, you can see also that the temperature is the same, and this is a requirement, okay? If the temperature is different in our mixture, so we cannot fulfill thermal equilibrium, and therefore, we cannot fulfill thermodynamic equilibrium, right? So, now, what we have to see is we will be applying our ideal gas law to our mixture. So, this will give us that P of the mixture volume of the mixture is equal to what? Is equal to the number of moles of the mixture cross R universal cross T, okay? And if we apply this now to our component A, so gas A, it will be PA VA is equal to what? Is equal to the number of moles of A R universal T. The same thing for B, we will have P, B, V, B is equal to the number of moles of B, R universal T, okay? Now what do we know? We know that the total number of moles, this Nm, should be equal to the summation of Na and Nb, okay? But N of the mixture, is equal to N A plus N B. And what we can do, we can replace N M, N A, and N B by their formulation here. So N M will give us P M V M over R universal T. So this will give us P M V M over R universal T is equal to what? Is equal to P a V A over R universal T plus the same thing for B P B V B over R universal T. Now we have to go back to this point. We said that the temperature and the pressure are the same between A, B and the mixture, but the volume is different. So meaning that this guy this guy and this guy will disappear. R universal is the same constant and the temperature is the same everywhere. So this leads to Vm is equal to Va plus Vb. 
okay? And we call VA and VB, so this is the total volume, okay? It's equal to VA plus VB. This means that I can draw a line here where all this will be VA and here this will be the volume occupied by component B. And we call this, each one of them, partial volume. So this is the partial volume of A, of the component A, and this one is the partial volume of the component B. Partial volume of B. So, and then we can write this under more general form, where we write that the volume, the total volume of our mixture will be simply equal to the summation from 1 to k of vi, the partial volume of each component. Okay, if you have k components, k different gases in your mixture, so you just sum up the partial volumes of each one of them. Now an important question is how do we get the volume occupied by each component, okay? What is the volume occupied by A in this mixture and what is the volume occupied by B in this mixture? To get, to get the volume occupied by gas A, for example, what we can do, we can divide this equation by this one, okay? So this will give us, we can write that PA VA over P M V M is equal to what? Is equal to N A, the number of moles of A, R universal T over the number of moles of the mixture, R universal T. Okay? In Amagat's model, we have the temperature the same, constant, and this one disappears. So, therefore, this gives us that VA over VM is equal to NA over NM. Or, we can write it here, that VA is equal to what? Is equal to NA over the total number of moles of the mixture cross NM. And here, you should recognize this term which is the number of moles of component A over the total number of moles in our mixture. And we gave it a name and it's YA. So this is our more fraction. So what does it mean is that here, the volume occupied by A, it's equal to what? It's equal to the contribution of A in terms of number of moles cross the total volume VM and the volume occupied by B, VB, is equal to what? Is equal to the contribution of B in terms of mole fraction cross the total volume, okay? And obviously, if we want to generalize this, we can write that the partial volume of any component of our mixture will be equal to what will be equal to the its contribution as a mole fraction cross the total volume of our mixture. So this is a Megat model. To repeat, we have the same temperature, the same pressure, but the two don't mix, okay? So each one is occupying a portion, a portion, sorry, of the volume, okay? Interestingly enough, this is not quite realistic, right? We don't typically see uh, in our experience gases actually that one occupy a certain portion and not the other. Typically, they will occupy the complete volume. Obviously, if we have different densities, so this is the case. We'll have a stratification of the gases. But in, in a general case, we don't see a clear separation between the gases. So. Therefore, there is a need to introduce another model that will account for the fact that the gas, each component of the gas will occupy all the volume. Now, the model that will take into account the fact that each component of the mixture will occupy all the volume is called Dalton's model.
This is due to John Dalton, an English physicist and chemist. So in Dalton's model, now it's different, okay? So the volume occupied by A and B will be the same. The temperature, we agreed that it has to be the same between A and B, but the difference here is that the pressure will be different. So what do we have? T and V are the same now. What's different, and we'll prove this, is the pressure. But the pressure is different. What does it mean for us in this example? That PA is different from PB. For the rest, we'll be using exactly the same approach as for Amagat's model. So we will write that PM of the mixture cross VM of the mixture is equal to the number of moles of the mixture, R universal T. Then we'll be applying ideal gas law for component A. So for A, we have PA, V, a is equal to number of moles of A cross R universal T. Then for component B, we have PB cross VB is equal to the number of moles of B R universal T. Then what we have to do, we have to remember again that the total number of moles, but the total number of moles of the mixture has to be equal to Na plus Nb. Okay, under general form, it will be Nm is equal to the summation of Ni from summation from one to k uh, gases. So here we can replace again. So this will give us Pm Vm over R universal T is equal to what? Is equal to PA VA over R universal T plus PB VB over R universal T. Now for Dalton's model, we said that the temperature and the volume will be the same, but the pressure is different. So this guy, this guy, and this guy will disappear. R universal, this is a constant, and T has to be the same to fulfill our thermodynamic equilibrium, okay? Thermal equilibrium than thermodynamic equilibrium. So here meaning that our result is telling us that PM, the pressure of the mixture is equal to PA plus PB, okay? And we call each one of them, PA and PB, the partial pressure of A and the partial pressure of B. So this is partial pressure. Of A. And this one is the partial pressure of B. Of component B or gas B in the mixture. What does it mean? This means that we have a, a pressure for the mixture, but the pressure exerted by A and B are different. Okay, so this is what we are saying here. Now, how to get the pressure of A in this complete volume? What we have to do, we divide again, let's say for A, this one by this one, and this will give us PA over, sorry, PA VA over PM VM is equal to what? Is equal to NA R universal T over NM R universal T. Again, same temperature, constant, both of them occupy the same volume, so the mixture in A, and this leaves us with PA is equal to what? Is equal to NA over NM 
across PM. And again, you can recognize here our mole fraction, YA, and this will give us YA cross PM. This means that the pressure here exerted by A, so is PA is equal to the mole fraction of A, its contribution in the mixture, let's say we have 30% uh, moles, okay, number of moles in the whole mixture, cross PM. I will give an example after this and hopefully you will understand what I mean by this specifically. And here, the pressure of B, so PB is equal to the contribution of B cross the pressure of the mixture, okay? So here we wrote that PM, the pressure that we're measuring of this mixture is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. So therefore we can generalize this by saying PM is equal to the summation I is equal to 1 to K of all the partial pressures, okay? Of all the components from 1 to K. So what does it mean this in practice? In practice, this means that when you measure a pressure, okay, of your mixture, is the sum of the pressure of, so a partial pressure of each component, okay? Let's give an example. Let's assume we consider air. And to simplify, Let's assume that the pressure of our air measured is equal 100 kilopascals. Now, what do we know? We know that air is a mixture, mostly of two gases, oxygen and nitrogen, okay? Consider that the mole fraction of oxygen is 21% and the mole fraction of nitrogen is 79%, okay, to simplify. So what does it mean? This means that mole fraction of oxygen is equal to 0 0.21 and the mole fraction of nitrogen in our air is 0 0.79. Now the pressure of the air is 100 kilopascal. But following Dalton's model, this means that the pressure of the oxygen in this mixture is not 100 kilopascal. It's what? It's equal to Y, so we're at here, YA cross PM, so it's equal to 0 0.21 cross 100, and this one is 0 0.79 cross 100. So meaning that the 100 kilopascal that you are getting is equal to the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of nitrogen. And the partial pressure of oxygen in this mixture, in our air, is 21 kilopascal, while the partial pressure of nitrogen in our air is 79 kilopascal. So you see both of them are lower than 100 kilopascal. And why this is important? It's important because what dictates the behavior of each component, oxygen and nitrogen, it's its partial pressure. Meaning, let's say if you are looking for properties of oxygen in this mixture, you don't basically take the 100 kilopascal, okay? Let's say you go to a table, you don't pick the 100 kilopascal, you pick the 21 kilopascal, okay? The same thing for nitrogen. If you would like to know what are, let's say, different properties at a specific pressure, you don't pick 100 kilopascal, you pick your 79 kilopascal because this is the partial pressure of nitrogen in our mixture. And this is what dictates the behavior of nitrogen. 